Hello everyone, welcome to stage number three of the tour of Ching Hai Lake. Another great day here as we're getting ready to head to Yid. Guys are all uh, saddled up and ready to go to get to some sign in. Of course, there's your overall leader, Vitelli Woods for KLS. And he's bookended. The sun has been shining on him all week long. Torku Sepa Sport, of course, those guys are super happy. They're coming to sign in right now. Backdrop of the Olympic Training Center. That's 14,000 feet. The prayer flag. The highest climb that we have for the day at 14,000 feet plus. And in just a moment, we are going to be interviewing Gong Zhu as Lampre Marita and the, of course, Chinese National Champion sign in. Little interview here. Here is Gong Zhu. Fantastic from Gongzhu, of course, there's a park hotel, Varnberg. I guess they're cutting a little weight off there because they knew the big climb was coming. Those guys have been super active. We national champion right there. Discussions. Exactly mm, about the altitude, some guys have been uh, in altitude uh, for, for several weeks uh, beforehand, uh, but that was in Europe. So there's another climate, uh, climate change. I think they are stronger than uh, the average climber on the flat. So we'll see what happens at the end of the stage. I hope I'll be there to, to see all of it. Of course, that's Bram Milton from Park Hotel Varnberg giving his thoughts on today's stage. And here's the way stage goes. It goes from the Olympic Training Center all the way to Gien. Of course, they take it right out of Xining. And it is a long stretch into the sprint. And guess what? They go north quick. That big 14,000-foot climb. And then it is a ripper over descent. 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, 60, 70 kilometers an hour as we head into the finish line. Some think it's a sprint. Some think it may be a breakaway. Here is your overall leader, Vitaly Boots, along with Daniela Coley in the sprinter's jersey for Vini Ficini. They head out on a sparkling day. Olympic Training Center's in the backdrop. It is long forgotten as these riders now head out. Chinese culture is very, very important. And there they make the left-hand turn saying goodbye to the Olympic Training Center. And up and out of the saddle they go. And they're going to be doing a lot of climbing here pretty soon. First sprint, and here they come. Big smiles and a little tap on the backhand side. Ganzu Bank, of course, goes one two there. That is going to be Miguel Angel Rubiano, Buglas, and Coley rounding out your top three for winning it. The wheels were turning. Who's going to win this race? We know that there's going to be a massive climb ahead. The, the oxygen is going to be minimized by sometimes 10 or 15 percent. Of course, Ganzu Bank very aggressive at the start. Small breakaways unfolded, but they did not stay very long. The sprinters had their ears all over this one. Of course, that's your your second sprint. Moazami, Boots, and Coling. Big fight goes on. Piskamon takes the sprint. Five points, three and one, respectively. And a long climb. There you can see the daunting task ahead. The switchbacks, the climbs, and of course, RTS Santic. That's the look that we've become extremely comfortable with. Climbs like an angel. The Colombian, super strong. Maurizio Ortega, Yahio Perez, go one, two. Breakaways where they were. We tried them, especially on a descent that's at 50 or 60 miles an hour at times. And there's your Peloton, what's left of it, cresting the top. And it, here they come, down the descent. Again, we've talked about it throughout the whole course of this voiceover that these guys will be clocking speeds of 40, 50, 60 miles an hour consistently. So that pretty much mitigates any opportunity for a solo or a group of two or three. And here they come down to the sprint. And I have about 25 riders, and that was easy. Vino Forever had a forever gap on everybody. That was Yevgeny Gidich, Vino Forever. Of course, Mikhail Kononenko for KLS and Okekin. Раз знал, мы готовились очень долго к этой гонке. Это очень большая победа для меня, для моей команды. Это очень круто. And there you have Gidich. All smiles. 
champagne flowing everywhere. On a spectacular day as we finish up stage at number three, and of course, Boots donned in a yellow jersey again. Proved that he can climb, proved that he can sprint, pardon me, sprint, and of course, Miguel and Hell Rubiano, your best Asian rider right there in the blue jersey of Getty Gittich. Rubiano is going to take the sprinter, and of course, Maurizio Ortega again. And the climber's jersey, the polka dot jersey goes to him. Prototypical, that's Ortega for you. And as we finish out stage number three, here's your top three. Michaela Kolininko, Kel El Coles, Yevgeny Didich, Vinny Forever, and Vitaly Boots. I guess for Cole EDC. That's going to wrap up stage number three. Tomorrow we head to Qinghai Lake.